Singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Um, <clears throat> right. Now, I've had a lot of questions uh, on YouTube and my channel to explain what the difference is re in real terms uh, between a small speed light like that and a big studio flash. Well, it's very simple. The speed light is great, gives out a beautiful light, nice flash. You can get all sorts of adapters to put on it to bounce light around, the same as you can with this. But it has one big failing, is that I can't see what I'm doing when I'm setting up the flash. So if I've got three or four of those, how can I possibly see whether the light has to be there, there or there? So that's why we go to a studio flash. Now a studio flash has the wonderful ability of having a lamp in it. Now that lamp is called a modelling light. Now the modelling light changes power. Well, I'll show you that first thing. I'll show you. It flashes. And the bulb went out. Shows me that it's flashed, so I can see that it's worked. Now I can increase the power, and as I increase or decrease the power, it's going to flash. Yes, it flashes because it discharges itself when I drop the power. So you can see the modelling light getting brighter and brighter, depending on how, um, how high the power of the flash is. Now I can put, I can attach to that, I'm going to turn it off and take out the plug because I don't like playing with these things uh, when they're plugged in because there's quite a lot of power in them. And what I can do is I can add the umbrella through a hole in the reflector that then fits into the light and the light will bounce off and bounce back to the subject giving me quite a soft light. Now that's one example. Now these reflectors come off and I can add all sorts of accessories to it like, uh, like that. Now that one of course uh, restricts the light to quite a small circle. It's called a snoot. I can add to it softboxes, big softboxes and those can become uh, very very big and they give a nice soft light. So I can use it in many ways, as I can use this in many ways, but this gives me a more power. We'll have a look how much later. And the ability of being able to see exactly what I do. Now let's have a look at the controls. Uh, this is very simply on off, that one. Uh, this one is the modeling light on full power. Off, because you don't have to have it on. Uh, and half power. So that's the difference in the modeling light because sometimes it's too bright. Um, this one is dim. Now this will switch it off when it flashes as you saw. Um, so you can have that as a choice as well. Uh, this one is a bleeper that will bleep when it goes off if you want it. So you can have uh, maybe uh, it on all the time and it bleeps. And that's just to test the flash to make sure it goes off. This one is the power of the flash, and it can go from full power to 1 32nd of full power. Fuse, and the synchronisation that will either be radio to the camera or by cable to the camera. Very simple. Now, you'll see a little thing here. It's a little electric eye. Now, the great, other great advantage, if you're using more than one or two, or one of these, if you're using more than one, um, when this flies, the light on the others will see it, this little thing will see it go off and fire this one as well. Now that happens almost instantaneously and that's called a slave. So you don't need separate triggers for each light. Now you might say, yeah, but that's fine, I haven't got a studio. But these can be used outside, of course. Either you can get an extension lead and take it outside or you can get a generator or um, there are battery packs that exist. Now those battery packs uh, will allow you to do a certain amount of work before they run dry of course, but that's a possibility. Now, we know how to work, etc. This one, it's not tinny at all, but it sounds like it is. Um, this one I don't think is made anymore, but there are hundreds of makes. There are Bowens, Hensel, a Linkrom, uh, oh, there's lots more, there's lots made in China. This is a what's called a 400 watt second. 
light and you can get 180 watt second light, 120 watt second if you go much bigger but there's no real point if you're on a small camera but if you're working on a, a 5x4 camera or something of course you would have to have much more power. So a 400 is quite sufficient for anything and uh, I would even say 180, 200 watt second light, we used to call it joules by the way, um, is, is ample for portraits. So that's that. Now let's have a comparison of power between the speed light and one of these. Now let's take a minute to reading on the speed light then. Um, and on the speed light, speed light we get F11. So that just shows the difference. Now I've got the two flashes uh, from the same distance and I'm going to just take a meter reading on this one. And that says 22 and a half. Well, that's at f11 and that at f22. Now that's a 400 watt second light. If it was a 200 watt second light, that would make it 16 and a half, f16 and a half. And if it was a 100 joule light, that would make it 11, uh, f11 and a half. Well, that means that that, as that's f11, must be about 80 watt second light. Now, I'll do a check on that, it'd be interesting to see. Um, but that, I would imagine, is 80 watt seconds, and this is a 400 watt second. But anyway, you can see how the power changes from one to the other. <laughs> I think I'm talking into a microphone. Um, <laughs> I want to tell you something about these, and that's the big advantage of them, is that they do flash very, very fast. Now, uh, you can do all sorts of clever things with water, pouring water, and this will stop, the, stop it dead. Uh, particularly it's on low power, it flashes extremely fast. These, certainly the cheaper ones, don't flash that fast. Now, you can photograph a girl uh, jumping in the air, but it probably won't stop everything. You'll find her dress will be moving a bit, but that's quite nice. But you won't be able to stop everything with the cheaper ones. Now, there are more expensive ones, uh, and they can become very expensive, and of course those will have faster flashes, but never as fast as this, apart from one make, uh, which is something B, and I believe that has an extremely fast flash. Anyway, there we are. Now that's, I think, all uh, answered all your questions about Studio Flash. See you soon. Bye.